What specific challenges related to interpretability do LLMs face in medical diagnosis, especially regarding the issues of hallucinations and decision-making? Large language models, LLMs, in medical diagnosis face significant interpretability challenges, particularly concerning hallucinations and decision-making. Hallucinations occur when LLMs arbitrarily make diagnoses without a sound basis, leading to potentially incorrect conclusions. This lack of interpretability means that it is often unclear whether the decisions made by LLMs are grounded in sound analysis or ethical standards. Although LLMs can provide rudimentary explanations for their decisions, they fail to comprehensively explain why certain diseases are excluded or the confidence level associated with their diagnoses. The Chain of Diagnosis COD framework aims to address these issues by providing a transparent diagnostic chain that mirrors a physician's thought process, thereby enhancing the interpretability of LLMs in medical contexts. Can you illustrate step-by-step -step how the chain of diagnosis, COD, works in the context of your proposed method? Include details about each of the five steps and their significance. The chain of diagnosis, COD, operates through five distinct steps, each crucial for enhancing the interpretability and accuracy of disease diagnosis. 1. Symptom abstraction. This initial step involves summarizing the patient's explicit symptoms, allowing the model to focus on relevant information and understand the patient's query better. It sets the foundation for the subsequent steps by refining the symptom data. 2. Disease recall and knowledge integration. In this step, COD identifies the top K potential diseases related to the summarized symptoms using a disease retriever. This reduces the analysis space, making it manageable, and integrates relevant disease knowledge from a database, enhancing the model's understanding of each potential disease. 3. Diagnostic Reasoning COD generates a reasoning process that analyzes whether each candidate disease corresponds to the patient's symptoms. This step is significant as it mimics a physician's thought process, providing a structured approach to evaluating potential diagnoses. 4. Confidence Assessment after reasoning, COD produces a confidence distribution indicating the model's likelihood of diagnosing each disease. This distribution is essential for decision-making, as it quantifies the model's confidence and helps ensure that the diagnosis aligns with the patient's symptoms. 5. Decision-making. The final step involves making a diagnosis or inquiring about additional symptoms based on the confidence levels. A confidence threshold is applied to control the decision-making process, balancing the trade-off between accuracy and the number of inquiries, ultimately guiding the model towards a reliable diagnosis. Together, these steps create a transparent and interpretable diagnostic process that mirrors a physician's reasoning, enhancing the reliability of automated medical diagnoses. What advantages does the chain of diagnosis, COD, provide over traditional methods of disease diagnosis? In what ways does it improve efficiency and accuracy? The chain of diagnosis, COD, offers significant advantages over traditional methods by enhancing interpretability and decision-making transparency in disease diagnosis. COD transforms the black box nature of large language models, LLMs, into a structured diagnostic chain that mirrors a physician's thought process, allowing for a clearer understanding of how diagnoses are made. This interpretability is crucial as it provides a confidence distribution for each potential diagnosis, enabling the model to control its decisions based on a confidence threshold, which improves diagnostic accuracy. Additionally, COD reduces diagnostic uncertainty through an entropy reduction process, allowing for more effective symptom inquiries that lead to quicker and more accurate diagnoses. By synthesizing training data from disease encyclopedias, COD also scales efficiently to support a wide range of diseases while maintaining patient privacy, ultimately achieving over 90% accuracy across various datasets with fewer inquiries compared to traditional methods.
How did you validate the effectiveness of Diagnosis GPT, and what metrics were utilized to measure its performance across different datasets? The effectiveness of Diagnosis GPT was validated through evaluations on two public benchmarks, Muzzy and DXY, as well as a newly created benchmark called DXBench. The model's performance was measured using accuracy metrics, specifically focusing on how well it improved diagnostic accuracy with symptom inquiries. In the Muzzy dataset, Diagnosis GPT was the only model that demonstrated an increase in accuracy through symptom inquiries, while in the DXY dataset it required fewer inquiries than other models like Claude 3 Opus, achieving a greater improvement. Additionally, the model's accuracy was assessed at various confidence thresholds, revealing that with a threshold of 0. 55, it achieved over 90% accuracy across three datasets. Overall, these metrics highlighted Diagnosis GPD's superior inquiry and decision-making capabilities, confirming its reliability in diagnosing a wide range of diseases. What were the key results achieved by Diagnosis GPT in your experiments, particularly in relation to its accuracy and ability to handle different diseases? Diagnosis GPT achieved significant results in terms of accuracy and disease handling during experiments. It demonstrated an accuracy exceeding 90% across all datasets when using a diagnostic threshold of 0. 55, indicating reliable confidence levels. Specifically, in the Muzzy dataset, it was the only model that improved accuracy through symptom inquiries, while in the DXY dataset, it required fewer inquiries than competitors like Claude 3 Opus, yet achieved greater accuracy. Furthermore, Diagnosis GPT supports automatic diagnosis for 9,604 diseases, showcasing its capability to perform open-ended consultations without relying on predefined candidate diseases. Overall, it improved diagnostic accuracy from 34.7% to 44.2% in open-ended scenarios, highlighting its potential in identifying correct diagnoses across various diseases. Can you discuss the limitations of the chain of diagnosis, COD, as presented in your paper, including scenarios where it might not perform as expected? The chain of diagnosis, COD, has notable limitations, particularly in its reliance on the quality and comprehensiveness of the synthetic training data generated from disease encyclopedias. While the model can diagnose a wide range of diseases, it may struggle in scenarios where the symptoms presented are atypical or not well represented in the training dataset, potentially leading to inaccurate diagnoses. Additionally, COD's performance is contingent on the confidence threshold, tau, set for decision-making. If this threshold is too high, it may result in excessive inquiries delaying diagnosis, while a low threshold could compromise accuracy. Furthermore, the model's interpretability hinges on its ability to provide clear reasoning and confidence levels, which may falter in complex cases where multiple diseases share similar symptoms, leading to ambiguity in the diagnostic chain. Lastly, the model's effectiveness is limited by its inability to adapt dynamically to real-time patient interactions, as it may not always ask the most pertinent questions during symptom inquiry, thereby missing critical information for accurate diagnosis.